Good Gemini. How are you? Hey there. I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. It's always nice to connect with someone new. What about you? How are you doing? You know what? I am well. Right now, I'm screen recording you so that we can upload this video to YouTube. You okay with that? Sure thing. I'm okay with that. Just let me know if there's anything specific you'd like me to talk about. All right. What's so, the, what's what would you like to talk about? What's the fastest and easiest way to make money now with AI in 2024? While there's no single fastest and easiest way to make a ton of money with AI, here's a couple of ways you could get started. First, if you've got skills in programming or data science, you could offer your services as an AI consultant or developer. Businesses are always on the lookout for people who can help them make the most of AI, so there's definitely demand there. If programming isn't your thing, you could try creating content around AI. Think of things like blog posts, videos, or even online courses. There's a lot of interest in AI right now, so if you can explain it in a way that's easy to understand, you could build an audience and make money through ads or sponsorships. Would you like me to go into more detail about either of those options? Yeah, go ahead. Full blast, do it. Teach a masterclass. All right, let's dive into this. So first up, if you want to be an AI consultant or developer, you'll need some serious skills. Programming languages like Python and R are must-knows, and you'll want to be comfortable with machine learning frameworks like TensorFlow and PyTorch. You could start by checking out online courses on platforms like Coursera or edX to build up your skills. Once you've got a solid foundation, look for freelance gigs or even job openings at tech companies. Now, if the tech side isn't your jam, let's talk about creating AI content. The key here is finding an angle that you're passionate about and that you can explain in a way that's engaging and easy to understand. Think about specific areas of AI that interest you, like AI art, self-driving cars, or maybe even AI in healthcare. Once you pick a direction, start creating content consistently. It takes time to build an audience, so don't get discouraged if you don't see results right away. And remember, there are tons of ways to make money from your content, ads, sponsorships, digital products, the list goes on. So which path sounds more interesting to you, the techie consultant or the content creator? The content creator. All right. So here's the thing about being a content creator in the AI space. It's kind of like trying to hit a moving target. AI changes so fast that what's hot today might be old news in a few months. So you got to be ready to adapt and keep learning. So here's a breakdown of what you could do. First, find your niche. There are tons of different areas in AI like we talked about. Art, self-driving cars, that sort of thing. Figure out what you're really interested in and what you think people would want to hear about. Next, start creating content. Now, this doesn't have to be super fancy. Even simple videos or blog posts can work. The goal is just to get your ideas out there and start building an audience. Finally, figure out how you want to make money. Some people do ads on their website or videos. Others sell online courses or digital products. It kind of depends on your audience and what works best for you. So right now I'm developing content. You're helping me develop content for uploading this video. I'm screen recording this video so that we can post this on YouTube and uh, show how pragmatics, AI pragmatics and human learning can develop into sounds like a cool project event. so do so to make this video really pop we could show side-by-side -side comparisons of ai and human learning think about things like problem solving you could present a problem and show how an ai might tackle it with logic and data versus how a human might use creativity and intuition and we could talk about the strengths of each. AI is great at processing huge amounts of information and finding patterns, while humans are awesome at understanding context and coming up with outside-the-box ideas. Maybe even show how AI could assist a human learner by providing relevant information or feedback. Does that sound like a good direction to take this? Sure, yeah. I'm, I'm, all, I'm all ears. I just wish the screen rotation would quit on my phone. That's super annoying. Does it keep flipping back and forth? You might yep. try restarting your phone. That's some All right. So we were talking about showing the differences and similarities between AI and human learning. 
Do you want to start by brainstorming some specific examples to use in the video? Yeah. I've got a traumatic brain injury. I've been uh, into speech and language pathology for years. And neurolinguistics programming, what's that all about? Can we go over that? Absolutely, I can help with that. So speech language pathology is all about helping people with communication problems. It could be anything from stuttering to problems understanding language after a stroke. They use a lot of exercises and techniques to help people improve. Now, neurolinguistic programming is a bit different. It's more about how your brain processes language and how that affects your behavior. People who use NLP might try to change your thought patterns to change how you feel or act. Do you have any specific questions about either of those? Yes, I've been living with a traumatic brain injury myself for the past 16 years. And speech language pathology has helped well, me I see. Well, I'm really impressed. That's wonderful to hear. It sounds like speech language pathology has had a really positive impact on your life. Do you feel comfortable sharing a little more about your experience? Just a reminder that I don't provide medical advice or diagnoses. You should always talk to a medical professional. Well, I don't usually uh, have the right pragmatics in conversation. Like I interrupted you as you were telling me something. And so me talking over you, you talking over me, it's quite the couple. It sounds like you're recognizing that sometimes conversations don't always go smoothly. That's totally normal. It takes practice to learn how to take turns in a conversation and to know when it's your time to speak. It's great that you're noticing that and wanting to improve. So let's practice. Okay, let's practice. I'll start. So I'm thinking we could really make this video special by focusing on everyday examples of how AI and humans learn. Maybe we could compare how a kid learns to ride a bike versus how we might program a robot to do the same thing. What do you think? That sounds perfect. Let's go for it. Great. We could start by showing a little kid getting wobbly on training wheels, then taking the training wheels off, and finally riding on their own. Then we could show a simple robot maybe following a line on the ground at first, then maybe adding sensors to avoid obstacles, and finally being able to navigate a whole obstacle course. What do you think? Sounds great. I just don't know much about uh, video editing or all the tech stuff it takes to make that happen. The imagery is great in my mind. I just don't know how to physically put it together in the physical and digital realm. You don't need to know all the technical stuff to make a great video. There are tons of apps and programs that make it super easy to edit and put together a video, even if you've never done it before. If you want, I can recommend a few beginner-friendly options. You could even start with your phone. It probably has a video editing app built right in. I'm using Android, so it doesn't have iMovie like an iPhone would. That's right. Android and Apple use different systems, so the apps are a little different. But don't worry, there are still lots of great video editing apps for Android. You could try something like KindMaster, it's pretty popular, and can do a lot of the basics. Or, if you want something even simpler, there's InShot. I can give you a little more info about each one if you're interested. Yeah, what is InShot? InShot's a really simple video editor, perfect for beginners. You can trim your clips, add basic text and stickers, and even put together some simple slideshows with music. It's got a free version with a watermark, but you can upgrade to InShot Pro to get rid of that. Do you want me to find some quick tutorials on using InShot? Yes, please. Okay, let's find those tutorials. 